We're Zoe and Max. Recently, we bought this 1981 Ford uh, camper van. We have lots of work to do before we hit the road, and it's not always going to be fun. But we can't wait to share it all with you. Subscribe, join the journey. Thanks for watching. So we just had our first, like, oh no moment. The van just turned off. It just stopped working. The adventure begins. <laughs> so it's been our first drive. We're almost home. How's it been? Loud. Yeah, it's really loud. That only stalled once, starting it up. <laughs> it's not too bad. We just got home. Max had to go and have a business call. So he's not here right now. It's just me. I can't believe that we just bought this van and I'm so excited for all the things that me and Max are gonna do to it and where we're gonna travel in it and all the memories that we're gonna make in this van. I'm so excited. I don't love this rain though. So the previous owners have grayish Graciously? They graciously left us with all their junk. A cassette aux cord. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Oh, here are some papers about rebuilding the engine. Why is the invoice only $20? Is that concerning that you only spent $20? Toilet seat cover. I'm gonna keep this. A Black Rose cassette. So these were the original handles that came on the van, but I really do not like them. What do you guys think? Should we keep them? Oh, I think it's like a mini Bible. More receipts. They went to the botanical garden. Oh, I would have liked to keep those if that was me and Max. Fire. A weird le lever that we might need one day. So that was all the free goodies that was in there. I think I'm just gonna put all this stuff in bags. I'm gonna go do that and hopefully maybe Max will be here when I get back. If the lighting looks weird, we yeah. have like a floodlight set up because we haven't figured out how to turn on the lights yet and even the guy who owned it didn't really know how. So that's probably gonna be an upcoming project. We've got a little space heater in here. It's keeping it nice and warm. We're plugged into my parents' house. Yeah, so we're like living van life luxury at the moment. Yeah, but we need, you know, you need to ease into it. Yeah. You need to ease into it. We gotta get used to living this. in such a small space. Yeah. I've never been so excited to clean before. Me either, surprisingly. We don't like cleaning that much. My but... mom's gonna want to listen to me piss. <laughs> <laughs> but we're stoked to start cleaning. And we'll bring you along with the journey as we clean our van. Yes. Super fun, engaging Combat. content. Cleaning. Woo! I'm gonna have to work out what the best angles are for like where to put the camera as we're doing stuff in the van. But I'm sure that will get better but for now. We're gonna stay right here. We've thrown out a lot of things, but one thing that we did find, a little score here. Reusable sandwich bags. Sandwich bags. That's right. And they were $10. $10. Basically that means that in total, we only paid $5,990 for this van. We did fill it up with like $100 in gas. So $5,000, $6,090 total. We'll continue the total throughout the whole van build. Probably gonna regret saying that. I know. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. At about 6 a.m., Zoe woke up and said, I'm a little cold. <laughs> Can we go sleep inside? And I only, I was sleeping with one Squishmallow, okay? I was like, okay, we need more pillows in here. We only have two yes. pillows. I want four. <laughs> yes. She went back to sleep inside. I haven't slept yet. I've been looking up oil and stuff to put in the van. So we have to replace the oil. That's like one of the first things we gotta do. We but gotta this morning, fix one of the tires. We gotta fix one of the tires. Definitely just gotta bring this into a mechanic shop and ask what the heck do we do. But for now, this morning, we're gonna keep on cleaning now that it's bright out again. Last night we couldn't even see where the dirt was. Then we'll get something to eat. Pizza! I want pizza. We've still only seen three YouTube videos of pizza in it, and I want pizza. <laughs> yeah, last night we were watching Karen, and Nate, Amy and Beck, and Van Lives, and now. Like all we're eating. Pizza. Pizza. Anyways, let's get to work. How does this thing come off? 
That's dirty. Vacuuming time. I've been cleaning that stove and look at that water. That is disgusting. So, upon further inspection, we'll vacuuming. Vacuum man! I lifted up the carpet a bit and um, it appears there's some holes in the ground and they've painted it over to make it look like there's no rust. So, at some point we're gonna wanna lift this up. This feels definitely more sturdy. So, yesterday we had some engine troubles and after a little bit of reading last night, because it's cold, so when the engine's cold, it isn't getting the right air to fuel mixture and you end up stalling. It's what I've gained. Maybe some of you guys watching know a lot more about this than me, so I could, I would love some advice, but we're gonna go to Ford today and ask them about it. I'm not gonna bring the car. We're gonna take my brother's car. This morning, I wanna try turning it on and see if I can get it to go. My dad managed to, because I guess he used to use a car with a carburetor, so he was good at like feathering the gas pedal as he turned it on or something. But we're gonna give it a try. Okay. Give it a little. Sounds good. Let's do little things here like we know what we're doing. <clears throat> I'm just embarrassed for your neighbors. Uh, no, no, I know what I'm doing. You gotta, you know. Sounds like it's almost starting. Yeah. What we should do is we should get a heating block so we keep the engine a little bit more warm and um, probably do something mechanical. Oh, you're low battery. Oh, we're low battery. That's okay. Anyways, so the car doesn't start this morning is what the conclusion is. So today we're going to Canadian Tire and to Ford. We're getting some new oil and we're going to get this bad boy turned hot. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And then Ikea and we'll get new sheets. Yeah. So, we just stopped here at Ford and we picked up a new oil filter. Took mm -hmm. a little bit to figure out which oil filter we needed yeah. or what car we even have. The guy didn't really respond to us or tell us what engine is in our in our car. I assumed that the one model had the one engine, but I was wrong. Shows how much I know. But we got the filter, yes. everything's all good. Now we're gonna go get oil. So, we got some oil. $67 of oil, six liters. Uh, what do you think, Ikea? Ikea time? So, Ikea took a little bit longer than expected. Safe to say we bought a lot of stuff. Yeah, so decorating the van is gonna be the next episode on this channel next week on Saturday. So make sure you subscribe, you tune in for next week's video, and um, we'll see you then. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.